Hey everyone, Brian Douglas Neal here, AKA The Teacher Man. And today I'll be sharing my story, The Adventures of Teacher Man and The Return of the Cicada. It's another great day. I thought at my desk, then I pulled out my pencil to get ready for a test. Mr. Neal said, no talking and stay in your seats. Keep your eyes on your paper until your work is complete. I started to work and thought, boy, this is easy. I'll get an A plus so no one can tease me. The class was so quiet. The only thing you could hear was a weird humming sound that seemed very near. I paid it no mind, but then what did I see? Something flew through the window that looked like a bee. It had big red eyes and its body was black. I didn't remember seeing an insect like that. I watched as it flew and then it landed on Sarah. She looked up and she screamed, Boy, did it scare her. When the other kids saw it, they created a mess. There was running and crying that interrupted the test. Dana and Tracy ran right out of the class. They ran over Daryl without the hall pass. The strange little insect had us all out of our seats. Then it landed on the floor in between Michelle's feet. She looked down, she screamed, then raised her foot up to crush it. Then Mr. Neal calmly said, wait a minute, don't touch it. He picked it up off the floor, then he calmed our fears. Mr. Neal said, this is a cicada. It comes every 17 years. It doesn't sting nor bite. It lays eggs, then it dies. Then after about six weeks, they disappear before your eyes. Then everyone wanted to hold it. They were no longer afraid. All the kids were amazed at the sound the little insect made. Wow, that was fun. I said as we learned something new, Mr. Neal took the cicada and out the window it flew. Mr. Neal saved the day. Things almost got out of hand. That's why he's a superhero and I call him Teacher Man. And that's the end of the story. I hope you all enjoyed hearing the adventures of Teacher Man and the return of the cicada. See you soon with a different adventure. Thank you for listening.